Hey beauties, welcome back. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are well and hope you guys are doing great. Alright you guys, I am so much in love with this hair I'm about to take down. Yeah, because it really lasted me a while. You can even tell how messy it looks, you know. <laughs> I rocked it and mind you you guys this is the second time I am using this hair the second freaking time okay so if you haven't laid your hands on this hair yet please do so right now you cannot check you can check the installation video you're gonna get all the details and links and all of that okay so but for this very video I am going to show you guys how I took down the hair and I also gave my hair a trim. Yes, I did. I needed to cut off, or rather trim off the dead ends of my hair for a better growth, okay? Anywho, starting off with the takedown of the um, of the hair, the braids, right? Um, all I did was try to locate my hair. Or oh, actually, this method, the first method I used was, you know, um, putting pressure on my hair or rather I put pressure on my hair so I had to you know um, leave this method or rather use another method to take out the hair so you guys are going to see all of that in a minute tell me what your name is Tell me what you like and all your secrets. I just wanna go over the details. Let me inside of your Alright, so this is how much I've taken down. That is because of the second method I used. It is quicker, faster, and easier. Yeah. So basically what I did is similar to uh, I mean the first step is similar to the first um, you know what I did. To the first strand of it of hair so basically I try to locate my hair then separate it from the braids or rather the afro kinky hair I used in wrapping the hair together and then I'll use scissors to cut off the afro kinky hair okay then um, yeah this is what the hair looks like afterwards you know still in good condition and uh, trust me I, I believe I can still use this hair like a couple of times okay so this is what my hair looks like after taking the braid out um the hair is intact I, I know I just met you but something tells me that you might be into talking to a stranger with a tattoo baby I'm another kind there's a reason all right you guys so i had to let you guys watch that part to get a better understanding of what i was trying to explain and by the time i was done taking down the hair this is what it looks like and now i'm going to start with the trimming of my hair so as you can tell the front part of my hair or rather the crown of my hair right and also the back of my hair i did like a single plait okay and what i did is i basically just kind of stretched the hair out and cut off the 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 part the tiny part the weak the weak part of the hair as you can tell right here so i'm showing you so that's basically how i did the trimming i don't know the best way to explain this to you guys but i've done this before this is the best or rather the most effective way i can do my trimming by myself without damaging my hair or trimming too far if that makes sense So 
when I was done with the trimming, I went, I left the front part. I've not started unraveling the front part and the back part yet because I already trimmed the tip, all right? So what I'm doing now is basically unraveling, unraveling the cornrows because I am going to also trim the cornrow part. So the method, it's simple. All I basically did was stretch the hair out. At this point, I haven't combed the hair yet. So I wanted to see what I am doing for real, for real. <laughs> For real, for real. Where did that come from? Yeah, I want to. I wanted to be sure of what I'm doing, so I don't go overboard. You get. So I just, you know, kind of use my finger to stretch the hair out, and then trim the ends. Stretch it out, trim the ends, as you guys can tell right here. All right, you guys. So after combing out the hair, I had to go over again with the scissors and make sure everything looks uniform and grow out beautifully, if that makes sense. Okay, so that's what I'm doing right here. So by the time I'm done and I'm satisfied with what I'm seeing, I just went ahead um, and unravel the single plait I did around my head. And yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. When I was done, you guys seeing this in the mirror, and right now that I'm doing this voiceover, I'm like, yes, I did a good job. I mean, I did a pretty good job because you can tell how leveled or even this hair looks, right? And you guys, can you tell my edges, you guys, they are doing way, way, way better. They are growing out and they are looking fuller. Yes, yes, I can see that. And even my hair as well. I don't think I will. Never say never, they say, but I don't think I will ever relax or texturize my hair again if I want to keep growing my hair out. I don't think I will ever do that because they don't, um, it doesn't do well with my hair relaxer and texturizer doesn't do well with my hair they make me lose hair and yeah it doesn't work well with my hair basically but yeah so this is what it looks like i went ahead and put the hair in my cutie little bun that i always do you know my go-to or rather my wash and go hairstyle yes this one right here and actually there is these products i am using at the moment they are in my Amazon storefront. The link is in my description, you guys. You want to lay your hands on those products because they are very, very effective, okay? I can't wait to share, or rather, I can't wait to, you know, continue sharing this journey with you guys so you guys see how amazing these products are, okay? So this is basically it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please check out all my social media platforms. Links are in the description. Thank you for watching.